Three awesome facts about smartphone gimbals in 2020. They often support the phone's native camera app, have foldable design and mind-blowing battery endurance. And here's the latest contender for the next best one. It's called the Moza Mini MX. Welcome, Tech for Home channel. My name is Michael. I'm so happy to see you. And if you like the idea of inspecting cool tech together, then think about subscribing to the channel and give a thumb up to the video if you enjoyed it. Or actually, stay a little bit longer and figure out yourself whether you enjoy it or not. Uh, we're testing today the Moza Mini MX, which is a three axis smartphone stabilizer, or as we tend to call it, gimbal. This is the latest and greatest coming from Moza, which is one of the top manufacturers of um, gimbals for smartphones, action cameras, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras and so on. I wanted to start with the vlogging test so that we can figure out whether there's going to be some motor noise coming from the motors, because a couple of years ago pretty much every gimbal had terrible motor noise and most people were supposed to use, you know, external microphones. And over here I'm recording with the OnePlus 8 Pro and it's internal microphone, so how does that feel? Any any modern noise? No, I don't think so. Besides the background noise over here, there's nothing else. And I think it passes the very first test. The smartphone gimbal market is anyway seriously saturated these days because smartphones are right now the shortest path to start a filmmaking career. Whether you're going to be filming your best friend's dancing class or start running a YouTube channel or something else, it will come handy to have a gimbal Although, let's face it, stabilization on high-end smartphones is already crazy good. Because of that, I filmed some footage with the OnePlus 8 Pro, but also used the Mi Note 10 Lite camera with no stabilization, so that I don't see any accusations about the gyro sensor helping the footage. Now, the Moza Mini MX is launched at $89, that's $30 shy than the basic edition of the Osmo Mobile 3, and about $50 less than the Combo, which gives you a tripod strap and a box, meaning that the MX is adequately priced, and the only good contender that is a bit cheaper I can think of at the moment is the iSteady X. Unboxing experience is, as expected, really good. Moza have always been providing positive vibes through their boxes, and this one is no different. You notice that actually there are two parts glued together. The big one hosts the gimbal itself, wrist strap, charging cable, the small box brings a carrying pouch and a tripod. Build materials being used are primarily high plastic and rubber, and you're gonna notice a lot of similarities with the coverage of the DJI Mavic Air 2. I think it's very durable texture, and will definitely mask minor impact scratches, and the gimbal will look in mint condition for quite a long time. The gimbal is attached using this quarter-inch screw to a tripod, make sure the battery is charged, and we're all set for shooting. If you're here for the geeky stuff, I will of course highlight the most interesting technical specifications. Three axis stabilization, foldable design, powerful brushless motors, 24-hour battery life, navigation joystick, zoom in and out buttons, Bluetooth support, a Type-C charging port, and 412 grams total weight. Due to the design, movements of the motors are a little bit limited. 340 degrees for panning, 300 for rolling and just 140 for tilting. If that sounds like a weird language you don't speak yet, don't worry, we've got you covered. The gimbal has phenomenal battery life, adequate stabilization. However, due to the small and compact size, it's somewhat limited in certain directions, which won't be a deal breaker for most people, since these days the most used boat for shooting is called FPV, which is well supported by the Mini MX. Once we know about the hardware, let's take a look at the software side and see how to control it and get the most out of it. I strongly recommend you to download the smartphone app, it's called Moza Genie, and if you have no clue about gimbals, it will help you to do the setup right and everything is extremely simplified. This also is the smartphone app that Moza use for most of their consumer gimbals, and I like its functions quite a lot. Power on the gimbal and it enters the default pan follow mode. This means that horizon is locked and the only direction that the gimbal will follow is if you're panning. To switch the modes, you can use the zoom in or out button and each press of that will go through the next available mode. In total, there are four pan follow, pan tilt follow, FPV and inception mode. If you're wondering where's the all lock mode, 
the button on the other side is doing that. It has a few different assignments depending on the amount of clicks. Tripod click, for instance, is switching between front and rear camera on the phone. In time, you're gonna get used to the app and you will discover most of that information as well as get used to the rest of the functions. If you film with the Moza Genie, the zoom buttons will operate, which is quite nice. Also, you're gonna have AI-powered object tracking feature, which I discovered is working pretty well even with quite many objects in the frame, and you're gonna find a lot of options to fine-tune and switch between the smart features. And according to the latest trends, there are a number of filters and effects to make the videos appealing and very suitable for different social media places. If you wonder what is my opinion about the stabilization, I think footage doesn't lie and results are far more than just satisfying. I find the tripod concept extremely interesting, giving you the option to hold with two hands when necessary and to quickly pick it up and with some more patience you can use it even for product photography. The few times I truly needed good stabilization when I was suddenly running after the sliding rope, it did great. I've been using a lot both the native camera apps of the phones I was shooting with as well as Moza Genie, and both were doing fine, with of course having the dedicated Moza app giving you way more smarter and creative options. No bugs, no freezes, and almost infinite battery life. At the end, I think Mini MX is the smartphone gimbal where Moza have finally nailed it. This is more or less an improved version of the DJI Osmo Mobile, looks very similar, performs very similarly, has the same set of features in the app, a bit heavier but palm-sized and much more compact for transportation, with twice the battery life and has a tripod included in the basic package for a smaller price. Definitely, Moza have done a good job and this gimbal has the potential to become a very popular one. Whether that's going to be the case, we shall see. That's it from me for today's video. Thank you guys and girls for watching till the end. If you enjoy that and find it useful, hit that thumb up button. You will find a link to the product with the best possible price I managed to find for you in the description below. Also, if any questions or comments from your site, because I'm pretty sure you may think of something you want to ask about, make sure to do it in the comments below and I'm going to respond as soon as I can. Have a splendid day and see you next time!